In previous videos, we've associated the tasks in the travel agency's ticket reservation diagram to Genexus objects, converting the process model in a functional application. We will continue to do the same with the reservation validation diagram, a subprocess of the ticket reservation process. If we examine the validate reservation diagram, we can see that the first task will be to contact the airlines. A particular feature of this task is that it will be executed a certain number of times because several airlines have to be contacted. This may also be performed at the same time by different users. We open its properties and see that the loop type property is set to multi-instance, the ordering property is set to parallel, the expression type property is set to rule, and the expression rule property has the value 10. This means that the task will be repeated exactly 10 times in parallel, as it was indicated in the modeling stage. In addition, since the flow condition property is set to all, the contact airlines task will be finished only after the 10 instances have been executed. However, if we examine the task in more detail with the travel agency's staff, we realize that the number of times that this task has to be executed depends on the number of airlines that the agency currently works with. In addition, this number can vary with time. To find out the number of airlines that the agency has registered, we can use a procedure that runs through the table of the travel agency airlines and returns the number of registered airlines. To implement this, we change the expression type property to procedure, and in the expression procedure property, we select the loop airlines procedure. We open the procedure source and see that it has a for each command that runs through the airlines table and counts the number of registered airlines. In addition, it loads the airline identifiers in an array, which was set as a relevant data item of the validate reservation diagram. This relevant data item is accessed from the procedure using methods from the Workflow Engine API. We will see this in more detail in another video. As we've mentioned before, the number of airlines determines the number of instances that will be created of the contact airlines task. So this value is returned by the procedure to the contact airlines task in the last parameter of the PARM rule. In summary, to define a task with multiple instances, we assign the loop type property with the multi-instance value. To indicate the number of times that this task is instantiated, we use the expression type property set to rule and assign the number in the expression rule property. Or, we can also set the expression type property to procedure and use a procedure that returns the number of times that the task will be instantiated, as we've seen in this case. Going back to the diagram, the contact airlines task will be associated with a Genexus object of web panel type, which will be executed every time that the task is executed. Its name is contact airline. This web panel will allow selecting, for each airline, the most adequate flight for the reservation. Upon starting the web panel, the running task instance will be internally associated with one of the airlines, so that every time that a new task instance is started, a different airline from those registered by the agency will be contacted. The web panel shows the reservation details and the flights that the selected airline has available for the reservation date. The agency's employee will be able to select the flight that will be associated with the reservation. Let's see it at runtime. We right-click on the tab of the Flight Ticket Reservation Diagram and select Run. We run the Ticket Reservation task and enter a reservation for today. For Customer 1, who's called John Parker, and wants to travel from Carrasco Airport in Montevideo to Guarulhos Airport in Sao Paulo. We click on Confirm and close the screen. We click on Send to send the task and see that the four contact airlines pending tasks are displayed. The reason is that we have to contact four airlines, and one instance of the contact airlines task has been created for each one of the airlines registered at the agency. Double-clicking on the first pending task opens a screen to contact the first airline. It has a flight available for the date, origin, and destination required for the reservation. 
so we select the flight and click on Select Flight. In this way, we assign a possible flight and complete the task, so it is no longer displayed as a pending task in the inbox. We run the next task and see that a different airline is assigned. This will happen for every instance of the contact airline's task. This is solved in the web panel object because based on the airline's relevant data item of array type that stores the airline identifiers, a different array element is obtained for each instance of the contact airline's task every time that the web panel is started. In the following step of the reservation validation process, after contacting the airlines, the check availability task is used to check that at least one flight has been found that meets the reservation's requirements. We open the check reservation flights procedure and see that the source has a for each command that runs through the reservation details table and checks that at least one flight has been selected for the reservation. If a flight has been selected, it assigns the true value to the reservation available variable. This variable is returned as the last parameter of the procedure's PARM rule. If we give this variable the same name as that of a relevant data item, the workflow engine will automatically load the relevant data item with the variable value. In procedure objects, mapping values between the relevant data and variables included in the PARM rule is valid for both input and output variables. On the other hand, in web panel objects, the mapping of values is only valid for input variables. So we open the validate reservation diagram, select the relevant data tab, and create the relevant data item called reservation available of boolean type, and clear the is parameter checkbox because this data is not a parameter of the diagram object. Lastly, we associate the check reservation flights procedure with the check availability batch task and map the relevant data reservation ID and reservation available. In the diagram, once the procedure sets whether the reservation is available or not, the inclusive gateway, are the tickets available, should check the value of the relevant data item we loaded. To do so, we double click on the outbound connector on the right side of the inclusive gateway and type reservation available equals false. In the text property, we type tickets not available. We do the same with the two connectors coming down from the inclusive gateway, assigning them the condition reservation available equals true, and in the text property, tickets available. In the condition expressions of a gateway, we can include relevant data, constants, such as the true value in this case, enumerated domain values, and attributes of the extended table of transactions associated with the diagram. Thanks to the definitions we've made, if there are flights available for the reservation, the flow will move down from the gateway. If there are no flights for the reservation, it will move to the right, ending in the error end event called not available tickets. This type of event that ends with an error allows us to end the reservation validation subprocess and send the error notification to the main ticket reservation process. If we look at the main process, we can see that it also has the symbol of an intermediate error event with the same tag, not available tickets. The error intermediate event is of catch type, whereas the subprocess error end event is of throw type. In this way, from the main process, we can find the reason why the subprocess ended and take the corresponding action. In the next video, we will continue to work with the reservation validation subprocess using the interactive tasks Add Customer Information Required for Traveling and Evaluate Customer that will be run at the same time.